Chapter 3 Monster or Mortal You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Oh! She knows! Everyone knows! Although I understand why they have to put Ryan and Steph on equal standing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not so into calling it a superpower, but all the rest is true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now, whether it's true or not. You don't like being left out. Well, okay. Well, that's not the hardest to guess. Oh shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. Yeah, sorry about that. Although I don't think it's the same though. Ryan got like that, you know, heartfelt scene and Steph just gets told like this. It's not the same. Yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. <laughs> So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Alex is just like a lie detector. We don't even have to like make sure the questions to Diane are even gonna be answered because she'll be thinking about the right answer as soon as we ask it. Now Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. How's it going? We have some ideas that are going to blow your mind. Well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. <laughs> Can't wait. I think it's been a few weeks already. It seems like it's been a while since the wake. So let's chill out on our phone. Why not? Oh my god, stuff. Silver Dragon. Thank you all so much for your support over the last few days. We hope to have the Silver Dragon back to operating on our normal hours again sometime next week. Thanks for the update, excited to stock up. If you need someone to help out with Ethan, or anything else, let me know. Hector Gonzalez, I found Chrissy! Glad I was able to help. But I think I'll pass on the kisses. She's been wreaking havoc on Miss Crawford's flower beds, but she's home safe now. I'm so glad you found her. Give her a big wet kiss from me. Oh, first doggy kisses go to the girl from the record store who helped me track her down. Alex? Damn, the legend grows. No, the person who found the dog and put the sign up, the poster up on the bulletin board. That's the legend. Thanks to everyone who showed up today. Sorry for how it shook out. What would we say to one last send off? Do it right this time. Sounds like a fun idea. Actually, I have an idea. Can we all meet on the bridge, 9pm? I'm there. Me too. Bridge at 9 it is. That's so cool, like, super small town, just go on Facebook and be like, Hey guys, wanna meet at the bridge at 9 and everyone shows up? I love that. So many memories of Gabe I didn't get to make. Thanks to everyone who attended the Gabe Chen memorial service and a special show of gratitude to those who spoke. I think we did Gabe proud. Do you remember that thing he used to do when he would get choked up but he was too embarrassed to admit it? I haven't cried since I was like 14. It's allergies. Don't look at me. Gonna miss him a lot. Same. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey y'all, I decided to close my portrait commissions for the time being. I need to work through my backlog. Sorry to disappoint. Take all the time you need. Oh nuts, knew I shouldn't have put this off. Well, she's still here, just taking some time off. Steph, last call for LARPers. For those who haven't heard, I'm planning a LARP live-action roleplay for the afternoon of the Spring Festival, and I'm in dire need of NPCs. If you've ever wanted to try LARPing, this is a fun, low-pressure way to get your feet wet. Come on by the record traders, and let's talk details. To Stephanie, did I ever tell you that I starred in a science fiction film? I was fresh from Korea when the director, Mr. Julius Allen Silver, spotted me in a hardware store. He said, Mr. Have you considered being in pictures? Of course I had not, but in those days, I was eager to swallow every morsel on my plate, so to speak, so of course I agreed. The film was to be called Invaders from the Mechanical Planet. I believe I still have a reel around here somewhere, should you wish to organize a screening. <laughs> Ducky, I have genuinely never wanted anything more in my life. <laughs> I'm down. Got plans for you, kid? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh is right, Ryan. Best job I've ever had. Not that the competition is super fierce. Black Lantern. Attention Black Lantern customers. The Black Lantern is happy to announce that we have returned to our normal hours of operation. We want to thank you all for your patience and support during what has been a difficult time for many in our community. We look forward to seeing all you, you all soon. And on a happier note, we want to give a big Black Lantern welcome to Alex Chen, who has accepted a full-time waitstaff position with us. Be sure to show her some love when you see her. Nice, go Alex! Love, excellent news. Go away! Typhon Mining. Reminder to all Haven residents that Typhon Mining will be setting off charges tonight at 5pm. Again, please ensure designated danger zones are clear. Call our 24-hour safety line with any questions of concerns. Yeah, it's 24-hour safety line. You're supposed to... Like, it's supposed to work. If we call you, you make sure we're safe. And you stop. You call everything off. And please take note of our revised safety protocols publicly available on our website. Stay safe and have a wonderful spring festival. Go to hell. Go to hell. Four likes. Diane. And then Diane's three alternate accounts. Steph, LARP volunteers! Some of you still haven't synced up with me about your characters. Cutting it a little close here, buds. Hit me up. To Stephanie, I've written an extensive backstory for my character inspired in part by sections of Wu Chengen's Journey to the West. However, when I try to include it in this application, I receive an error message to the effect that I've exceeded the character limit? Thoughts? Well, I know what I'm doing with my afternoon. Can you drop off a copy at the shop? On my way. <laughs> Ducky. Ducky sweet. Lathe Flowers. Good morning, Haven Springs. The famous rose cart has been polished up and stocked with our finest. You can find it in the park at sundown. Pick one up and present it to your spring festival sweetheart. Man, no one's ever given me a rose at the spring festival. Don't worry, no one's ever given Ryan one either. Uh-oh. Do we have to give one? <laughs> har har, we'll see who's laughing tonight. Me. At you. Yeah, probably. Dad, it's not fun picking on you if you're just gonna admit defeat. <laughs> Steph is kinda competitive. Hector, Chrissy will give you a rose. SMS. Oh, we got a group chat going on now. Riley. Oh my god. Uh, Hi! Oh, Riley reaches out about a week later. How have you been holding up? Hey Riley, I'm doing pretty okay actually, thanks. How are you? Good. Drowning in flowers, please send help. Lol. Okay, random question. Random answer. Are you Princess Shushu 2539? Oh my god, how? Lol. No, really, how? You showed me Shushu when I visited, remember? And 2539 is Alex on a phone keypad. <sighs> I've been had. Who even uses that kind of decoding anymore? Everyone has a smartphone with a full keyboard. He's old school. Ha <laughs> So, you played Dust in Daylight? Didn't take you for a JRPG girl. Yeah, me neither. I found it here and thought I'd give it a shot. Now I can't get enough. 
Thought I was playing single player only. You must have spirit guides turned on because I could see you wandering around the port of clouds. Ah, that's so cool. Can we play sometime? I'm stuck at the big scorpion boss. I'd love to. Hey girl, thanks for the drinks last night. Great to just unwind with you. You got it, let's do it again. Yeah, so at the minimum, it's May 20th now. It's been a few weeks. JRPG, huh? Hmm. Stuff. Oh, this is, this is, uh, this has been moving. Hey, saw what you did with the larb, yada yada yada. Hey, don't think you're done playing foosball with me. The rivalry continues. You need a chance to redeem yourself after all. Salt in the moon stuff. Damn. All in good fun. I'd love to keep playing. Come over tonight? Sick. Alex, I'm gonna start running a Tunnels and Chambers game this week, if you wanna join. <laughs> hey, I have no idea what that involves. Sitting around with snacks, role-playing a cool story, pretending to kill stuff. I'm summarizing. Is it okay if I'm terrible? Number one, you won't be terrible. Number two, sit in on our first session. We can play it by ear. Rad. You free tonight? Ryan and I are meeting up and I wanted to fill you in on some of the digging we were doing on Typhon. Hell yeah, I'd love to help. Two days later, yo! Sup? What do you think about bringing that guitar over to the record store and jamming a bit? Like, in front of other living human beings? Just this living human being. I haven't played in front of other people in recent memory. I may be particular about a lot of things, but in this case, I'm a judgment-free zone. Oh, what the hell, let's go for it. What time? Anytime tonight, I'm here. I think I need another jam session tonight. What say you? Three days later. I say yay. Yes, I have some... ideas. Oh dear. No, dear, I promise. By the way, you're genuinely great. You have a gorgeous voice. Thank you, that's way too kind. Maybe a downright lie. Nah. <laughs> well, Steph was already kind of hitting on me a little bit back in the first foosball game. <laughs> Ryan! This one must be moving too. Do you want to meet tonight and plan what's next for our super sleuthing? Absolutely. Just tell me where and when. Yay. Hey, you need a break from all the late night research. Want to go mountain biking Saturday? Hurtling over dangerous terrain? So relaxing. You'll have fun, I promise. Okay, I'll try. Don't worry, we can replace the front wheel. Oh, my ass still hurts. Lol. You handled it like a champ. Short notice, but tonight's my annual viewing of this amazing nature documentary if you want to join. Amazingly, Steph is busy for the third year in a row. I'm detecting a pattern here. Hmm, is there a stuffy British dude narrating? The stuffiest. <laughs> Right answer, I'm in. <laughs> Getting along fine with them both? But in different ways. Well, she's hanging out with people here. Does anybody here go to school or anything? I'm guessing they're still... Well, Ryan's 24. Yeah, Ryan is just tree cop. Steph is just record store owner. And then Alex waitering here. Mac. Thanks for the help, Chen. Just remember, I never told you anything. I risk more than just my job to talk to you. I hear you, Mac. Don't worry. Get some sleep. Easier said than done. Well, I'm curious. What else are you risking? Just come clean. Come clean and we'll figure it out together. And don't text me about it, okay? <laughs> the last thing you'd want is a paper trail. Your speech on the bridge was beautiful. Thank you for being there for us. Of course. A few days later, a Typhon lawyer stopped by to give me more details about the financial assistance. Thanks again for your advice. Hell yeah. I'd much rather you take their money than Typhon keep it. Hey Alex, would you like to come over tonight for dinner? That sounds amazing. I'd love to. Can I bring anything? Just you. Maybe wine? <laughs> Lol. See you tonight. Hey again, I'm a little worn out. Any chance you can watch Ethan on Wednesday? Happy to. Can you pay me and more of those lemon bars you made from last week? For sure. Do you want the recipe? Nah, I'd much rather earn them by hanging out with Ethan than actually having to cook. <laughs> Good deal. Hi Alex, I'm so sorry but I have to cancel our girls' night. I'm not feeling great. No prob. 
Do you need anything? I'm okay, thanks though. Shar? How many of those gummies is too many gummies? Oh, sweetie, try and relax. Can you tell me how many you've had? How worried would you be if I said five gummies? Did you have anything else with them? Alcohol? Other medication? Just snacks. Take a nice deep breath. Take a drink of water and lie on your side. Don't drive or do anything serious, and it'll pass. You had a little more than a normal dose, but nothing dangerous. Oh, not gummy bears, huh? Like, not actual normal gummy bears? <laughs> Considering Char's uh, dispensary? Okay, thank you. Did I ever tell you that I think you are so beautiful? <laughs> thank you. Just put your phone down and close your eyes. Hey, those texts last night were totally just a test. <laughs> Did I pass? <laughs> With flying colors. Ironically, flying colors are also what I see when I close my eyes today. Lol. <laughs> no filter. Oh yeah, now we got a big group chat going on here. Okay guys, I'm making this official. Welcome to the Takedown Typhon thread. Fuck yeah! It's an honor and pleasure. Let's celebrate at Alex's tonight. Shouldn't Alex make the proposal? Too late! <laughs> well, I guess I'm hosting then. You two free tonight for more scheming? Sounds good. I'm down. Crazy idea. Let's break into the Typhon office in Denver, again. <laughs> I've got it all figured out. I bet they have server access there. We can find evidence. Steph, we're not driving to Denver and breaking into a highly secure corporate office. Boo! But if we did, could I be the getaway driver? Sure. But Steph, your license is expired. How do you even know that? Because he's a big loser. A loser with a valid license? <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> Ryan is a bit quieter. Steph is like, running her mouth half the time. Yeah, okay. I think we've read this one. Yep. Eleanor, fear. Think about those times you forgot what you were about to say, or why you went into a room, or someone's name who you've met a million times. We call it a brain fart, which is a funny term for all your synapses suddenly malfunctioning. In reality, it's one of the most helpless feelings there is. That's what Eleanor felt, in the flower shop, only more so. It was a quiet, unknowing terror. It takes a special kind of person to handle that without breaking down. Eleanor is strong. Stubborn, too, but strong as hell. If I wasn't able to see her aura, I may have never known. I let her out of the fog. What a relief. But then she didn't remember Gabe's death, and my stomach dropped about three stories into the floor. Telling her was agony. Seeing it all over again, like it just happened. Was the truth worth the price? I don't know. Thinking about it now, I feel powerless all over again. Everything is becoming out of order. All my memories are fading. They'll make me close this place. It hurts to think of what's to come when I no longer know this place and all I know are fading drums and I cannot recall your face. I wonder if Alex can play these songs. Ryan. Rage. Ryan's anger had teeth. It was sharp, savage, self-directed. A rabid animal with its prey cornered. And because he was convinced he had earned that anger, he was ready to submit to it. To let it eat him alive. It was strange, finding the shape of Gabe in the absence he'd left behind. I want more of Gabe than I got. Ryan got it. A whole Gabe. A Gabe who breathed and took up space. And then, the knife. The rope. The ravine. The only things in the world. He hated himself. I told him the truth, that it was okay to forgive himself, that he wasn't alone. My job is to keep people safe, not a hero, a coward, dead because of me. Can't shake the thought that you're dead because of me, and you're not here to forgive. I don't know how to go where the dead folks go, but I also don't know how to live. <sighs> Everyone has so many demons inside them that it, you really don't know what anyone's going through just by looking at them. Ryan. Joy. How do I even start? That gold glow. The way pain and tension gradually fell away from Ryan's face. And then the laughter. The private joy of the moment when Ryan chose to turn a dumb mistake into a prank. 
the trust he had for Gabe. The love. The certain knowledge that he could fuck with Gabe and get away with it, and that Gabe would love him for it. I pieced it together, found it in the clouds, the goose, the car, and the grave. And for just a minute, I got to have the sort of relationship with Gabe that Ryan had. I feel so fucking grateful for that. This morning, I thought I'd only ever know people through their pain. I thought I could live with that, if it meant helping people, honoring Gabe. But then, this. Joy. Like a life raft, a pocket of air at the top of an underwater lake. Everything feels different now. Property of the Crown. <laughs> a lot of blood. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> Should have dug a deeper grave. It's the night of the living geese, and now I'm wanted for goose-aside by the mounted police. Yeah, for a while I was thinking, well, Alex would make a great therapist, wouldn't she? But at the same time, it could be really, really tiring for her to deal with that sort of thing all day long. And hey, she doesn't need to use her power for anything useful. She can just sort of exist too, it's not a requirement. Jed, thank you so much for remembering my birthday last week, and that Marco Esquanda tequila was excellent. You're welcome over at any time. Your best cook by a long shot, Francisco. Hmm. A note for Jed. Respect to anyone that chooses to locomote for sport. Can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh, well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Wow, Alex. Trust me. You're not alone. She just did that to help her. That's it. I think our chat actually helped. Well, she's bouncing her leg and all that. She seems happier. There's Jed. Our goal is to clean up the dishes, so I'm gonna leave this pile of dishes here for now. Mmm. Appetizing. She didn't finish eating. There's still stuff left. Haven Springs Town Council notice closed on the last Thursday of every month for town council business for the first three hours. Council Chair Jed Lucan. Hey, Jed. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar? And one thing Deck 9 have done this time is that whenever you get close to people, they start looking at you because they're expecting you to like strike up a conversation. It makes it feel more lively and reactive. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Great, thanks. Statistics? Where are girl from Rome. Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Hmm. I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Okay, so there's a... There's a Where Are You Girl From Rome song here. Sorry, Steph, but there can only be one jukebox hero. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. Girl From Rome. Well, it's one that we've seen already. The cover. Probably. Will we know, though? Girl From Rome. I don't... Hero with a thousand rhymes. Girl from Rome. Where are you, girl from Rome? Uh, Mrs. Beatrix is a girl's name. <laughs> How do 
How do I know? Words, hands, baby, it's all I know. Rocky Mountain State of Mind. Hey, this is new. This wasn't here before. Open up a bottle of whatever. Whiskey 4, bound to be a rebel. I... I don't know, it could be this one. I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm scared of the jukebox, please! Um... Would you like to help me? I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Well, it's apparently all in here already, so it's just a matter of finding the right one, which... How am I... How am I supposed to know? We just start playing all of them and see which one sticks. I don't know. All we have is like the beginning lyrics. I think. Are these real songs? I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll just leave it alone for now then. And we will... see. She's sad though, we gotta help her. Where are you, girl from Rome? How do these birdwashing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Are you questioning my victory? Miranda, I would never. But I do wonder about the other guys. There's an honor code among birders. I've been competing since I was 12, and I've never seen it broken. 12? Wow. So, this win is a big deal for you. Congrats. Wow. Thank you, thank you. All thanks to me! The Spring Festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. Haven Spring celebrates tonight. Please join us this evening in Heritage Park for the annual Spring Festival celebration, complete with food, drink, music, games, and more. Oh, she's happy. In your face, Ryan Lucan. I'm <laughs> Birder of the Year, and your reign is finished. Uh-oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. <laughs> Guess I'll do some of the dirty dishes. Time for your bath. Where well, I'll leave it alone here for now. Hey, Eleanor. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Maybe we can help? I feel terrible for Eleanor, and I don't think it's getting any easier. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. This is so much for Eleanor to bear alone. But if we tell Riley about it, she's definitely gonna reconsider going to college, and I think that's what Eleanor really wants to avoid. Steph and Ryan, the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. Is that the hot sauces? Oh my god. <sighs> Typhon Mining Company, integrity to our very core. It's time to change your life. Join the ever-growing ranks of the world leader in excavation, mining, and distribution. Typhon Mining Company is hiring both field and office positions, including team managers and directors. We're looking to build relationships with our communities, and that means giving you lifelong career opportunities that you won't find anywhere else. Benefits, competitive pay, 401 packages, pay time off, medical, dental, vision. Also, making you lie about receiving calls to save people's lives. Ugh. I'm on to you, Diane. Just you wait until you come in. Love you, Gabe. Oh, Gabriel Chen. In memory of Gabe Chen, who came into this bar a stranger and left it as family. 
2019. Happiness? Rad jacket. I'm guessing boss man must be Jed. The hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says hell divers on the back? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I wanna broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Ah, oh, that's why back in the first episode, the first chapter had people named hell divers. These are the people he saved from the mine collapse thing. Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. Yes, on LMB 39, local ballot measure 36 will create that hundreds of jobs in Haven Springs over the next 10 years. Keep Haven employed, paid for by Constant Energy Colorado. There's gotta be people who agree. Hello, Ducky. Looks like Ducky's getting started earlier than usual today. Playing cards? It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. Hmm. Really? Poor Ducky. I wonder what's going on. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. <laughs> Are you really gonna be okay, Ducky? It's gonna be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. So, I started Dust in Daylight while you were at work. Oh. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. I'm... so glad you like it. I really do. People finding a game they can like together. That's uncommon. It's hard. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. <laughs> uh, I think we're okay with this. Has anyone beaten our high score? Nope. Ah, uh, yes. The legendary keeper of the high score. Ass. No, you're, you have the high score, Alex. Did they not expect me to have high score? Come on. Charlotte must be getting ready for the LARP. Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey, yeah, trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Gosh, this town is so small. Is everything okay? Hmm? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll like it. I hope so. You okay? Yeah? Gosh, this town is so small that like half the town is chilling out in the same pub, a uh, one pub. I better do some before my shift is over. Oh uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, that would be a very good idea. Excuse me? What about the song, though? I haven't found a solution to that. Oh, peanuts! I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? It's 2019. It's not 2020 yet. It's okay. We don't have to worry about COVID. I actually wonder if they changed the development. Like, in development, did they change the year at all? Because if it's 2020 onward, then they have to worry about, you know, portraying it realistically and whatever. So they're like, screw it. Let's just make it 2019. <laughs> ah... Colorado tap water. Oh, I can ask about the song too. Now, Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? 
Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. Oh. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. Jed said that none of them were taken out. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? <laughs> Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. You lied. You said it was all in the jukebox. Sorry, Jed. The people have spoken. We've got the power. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. Will it be the last one? No, it's not the last one. What the heck? Wait, wait, wait. I'm looking at the name of the song. Hold on. It should be the artist, right? Alabaster Daydreams. I did it for you. I did it for you, girl. Alabaster Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. <laughs> One small victory that no one will ever know about. Great, great. Okay, let's clean up. Let's clean up. Ho 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 ho! check in with Steph and Ryan. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans actually. But we're still workshopping them. What? What does workshopping mean exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? What? She's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. <laughs> Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan. Are you sure she's into you? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. <sighs> now to be clear, it's the same plan. <laughs> Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, alright? She's probably <laughs> into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> Look at Alex's face! Okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> You're the only tiebreaker we have. Okay, best case scenario, Diane is bi. Please let her be bi, I'm pretty sure she is. Oh my- <laughs> Okay. All right, look at how they put the choices here. All they put is the people's names. You know what this choice is. It's not about Diane, it's about us. Oh. 
I do have to say, I think this one, this choice here, Ryan versus Steph, for me anyway, it's been the closest choice. Like between Chloe and Warren, Cass and Finn, those are the choices from the previous games. Warren is whatever. And then Cass and Finn, uh, the, the romance choices weren't just about the romance though. Because romancing one over the other sometimes came with like agreeing with stupid choices and decisions, so it wasn't really like equal. But Steph and Ryan, Ryan is such a sweet guy. But Steph, Ryan, Steph. Let's go Steph this time. Let's go with Steph. I want to see this. Badass DJ? It's a no brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. <laughs> In your face. Yeah, that's fair. Look, I appreciate the the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? Call her names. Rile her up. You said rile her up. I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how. And I don't know why yet. But I will find out. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. If you're all about the open investigations, why did you give money to Charlotte? I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. Ho 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 ho! I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. Stoke her anger, huh? The Black Lantern by Ethan Lambert. Great perspective. Hmm. Not relevant for the moment. William Bloom, huh? Whoops. Yeah. He's the best. Can we not look at these things? Good beer? Yep. I'll just ask about everything then. Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. It doesn't sound like Diane is the one that's primarily responsible. She also just happens to be working for Typhon. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super-powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose they do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. We're just making casual conversation after accusing her of killing my brother. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. <coughs> Ethan's a great artist, isn't he? He sure is. She's still angry. Diane seems really put together, but inside, she's just as much a mess as the rest of us. Some of us are just better at hiding it. Integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah. That's our motto. It... It's a motto. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. No, <laughs> we already picked all the wrong ones. <laughs> so there's only the right one left. 
Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Typhon. Diane is the opposite, the polar opposite of Mac. She's probably also under some kind of NDA. Plus, she's older, better control of herself. to find out what Diane is really hiding. People that work for Typhon don't necessarily like Typhon either. Does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could- It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. What a shitty boss. Typhon brought me here, and look where it got me. Damn them all. Wait, there's something else. USB? I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Murder? Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Is Diane into children though? Like Ryan and Steph are like kids compared to her. This strong businesswoman. Come on, guys. Hey, Diane. Holy crap. Oh, hey, Steph. How are you? So, what's your deal? I'm sorry? <laughs> are you single? Semi-single, taken, but still down to get drunk and make out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Was not expecting that at all. Um. <clears throat> Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. <laughs> <coughs> it's actually working. No, you're cool as a cucumber. <laughs> That's good. I lied. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you could have just had Ryan on the other side. See ya. Would have been easier to reach the bag instead of Alex reaching across the table like that. Oh my God. That was a thing. 